Does Aunt Jemima make real syrup? No. no. I love Aunt Jemima. She's a sweet lady. <laughs> but she's made of corn. Zero. Corn syrup. syrup. How about Aunt Mrs. Butterworth? Oh, Zero. she's she's fun too. Zero. Corn syrup. The log cabin? Zero. Corn syrup. Do you like natural things or artificial things? Natural. So every, you gotta have more natural things. That's what it costs more. about two gallons of syrup for every hundred gallons of sap. On average nationwide, it can be anywhere from 40 to 80 gallons to one gallon of syrup. from the Iroquois. The Iroquois said that at one time, many moons ago, many seasons ago, there was an Iroquois warrior who came home from the hunt, took his tomahawk out of his belt, stuck it in a tree, went into the wiki up, spent the night. Next morning he had a big hunt plan. So he went and grabbed the tomahawk out of the tree, stuck it in his belt, got all of his gear, waved goodbye to his family and took off with the other guys. When his wife came out, the day was warming up. She was getting ready for her chores. Chores, she looked at the maple tree, and here's some liquid running down the tree. What is this? And she went over and wiped her finger and gave it a taste, and it tasted a little bit sweet. The legend goes on then that she found all of this sap. She said, I'm not going to take a trip down to the spring. I'm going to use this to cook meat with for my husband for me. So she set about heating this up, and we'll show you how she even did that, and boiling the meat in this. At the end of the day, when her husband comes home as he's approaching camp, he smells this awesome sweet smell. Whoa, something new in camp. When he comes into camp, she has the meat all ready. They sit down to eat, and this meat has this little crusty glaze on it, kind of like you put on ham. Whoa, what is this? And she explains how she figured the whole thing out. This came from this tree. This came from this tree, this sugar. So through You're that- You're welcome. Thanks for coming to our Maple Fest.